Hey everyone, welcome back to my second kind of episode I guess to my uh, review week. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation review and this foundation has been so requested for a good amount of years and it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. They recently came out with new shades so I thought what better time to review it and I feel like lately that's why I've been getting more uh, requests to review it because they have come out with new shades which is a huge thumbs up like honestly they had barely any brown shades and now they have a good good amount of brown shades but there's no like really I didn't really see any deeper shades to be honest but maybe one but that's not dark enough okay oh before we go on to the video I have to do my post notification shout out okay so today's one goes to Shahina Begum thank you so much for your comment for subscribing okay I think I bought this foundation from Superdrug for £10 I got the shade caramel which was the best color for me there was a shade called golden caramel that i was hesitating between but it was more like cool tone and when i was putting on my skin like you could see it more it does say that it's a anti-fatigue foundation up to 16 hour wear i mean I, i've never worn my foundation that long okay so i'm the shade 58 and it was 58 caramel and there's five other shades on you know above mine it goes up to 63 and 63 is like a cocoa color like it's not like deep deep or you know dark deep shades so i definitely feel like they could improve on that but there's i appreciate the amount of brown shades they do they do have because i feel like um brown shades don't really get catered for catered for most of the times because it's mostly medium and goes straight to like you know dark or you know maybe one tan shade whilst i'm more like tan caramel shades and I rarely am able to find shades in the drugstore, you know, department when it comes to foundation. So I'm really glad that you do have a lot of brown shades, but I feel like they need more dark, deep shades. Yeah, I do have a top. Like I just mentioned that. I'm kind of hot under all these lights. So. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. It's a nice golden, you know, caramel shade. I think it's going to be a good match for me. Here's just a quick pump of it. And there's a swatch. I really really do like how warm it is okay so I'm just gonna do a pump like this I'm really happy with that shade I'm gonna use a brush on one side mmm it smells so nice oh my god I got the right shade I was so hesitating between those two colours like caramel and golden caramel but I'm so glad that you know this one works because you know you can tell like that's a beautiful colour for me oh my god look look I rarely find my shades in drugstore foundation guys so it says it's a med medium coverage foundation with coated pigments that provide natural radiant finish it contains hyaluronic acid which is really good suitable for all skin types especially dry skin and i have i'm i would say normally i have dry combination skin but right now it's mostly on the dry side for sure oh my god it smells so good guys i don't care what anyone says i do really like a good smelling foundation or like you know skincare products I think the one that I'm probably the m most the most not fond of the most oh, oh my god what's wrong with my English I think the scent the product that has a scent that I'm mostly not fond of that's how you say it is the Huda Beauty foundation it's a very strong perfumey cell whilst this has a more like fruity skincare fresh smell yeah it smells like berries I think it's the vitamin mix that's in this. It smells so damn good. I love it. Okay, so so far I'm loving the glow to it. I love how it feels on the skin, how it just, you know, it was so easy to apply. Okay, so I've just brought you guys a bit closer. You can really see the blending. It's so pretty, guys. It's literally like skin. I even love it more with the beauty blender, it gives more of a glow. Definitely medium coverage, I mean I'm happy with the coverage, you know I would say with medium coverage I'm quite happy with it. 
I but I do feel like it's m definitely more coverage than the Revlon one I reviewed a few days ago but you guys have probably seen it yesterday Anyways, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to give you some of my thoughts on the foundation and how everything you know went on top of it alright guys so this is the foundation on and with the rest of my makeup as well on so far I really love it I I definitely like this foundation I'm so glad I bought it not only does this I think I'm so obsessed with this smell for some reason but the way it applied it looks like skin it's like natural dewy it's not like oily or anything it feels so nice on my skin as well like I am loving this foundation so far like everything about it is just so good I really like the fact that they've made an effort to expand their shade range like I, I can always applaud that you know here's a little close-up I really like it guys. But anyways, it's now 9.05 so I'm gonna be heading off. I'm gonna be back later on today. I'm gonna see how this foundation and this whole makeup look is gonna hold up. Um, to be honest, I'm not doing anything special today so we'll, we'll see. Just have some errands to run. It probably looks darker but it's a good match. Like I'm really happy with this, like really happy. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, so it's now 10 p.m. Well, around 10, 10 p.m. Just past 10 p.m. I had to let my hair go because it was definitely tired from being up. I look like I have a wig on or something, but I definitely need to go wash my hair. And yes, I'm wearing my robe, my trusty old big robe again. I just love this robe because it's so baggy. It's actually my boyfriend's robe. It's so baggy and I love it so much. But anyways, um, I have to say, like, I don't know if you guys can see. I might have to put the brightness down a bit. I'd have to say like I'm definitely a bit oily. I don't know if you can see. Like I'm really oily around this. And I do have to say like the foundation does transfer a little bit, like a little bit. Um throughout the day I've noticed that and I was looking a bit shiny. It's like one of those days like you know the weather weather is like you don't know if you should, if you should wear like a jumper or not. That was one of those days and i wore a jumper and i was like sweating like crazy so i felt like i was a bit oily it does feel a little bit sticky to be honest just a little bit i've been wearing this foundation for a very very long time i mean more than 12 hours and it's doing so good so i'm really really happy it hasn't even faded on my nose where are my smile lines can you please tell me i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because the foundation is so good the price is good but and you get a good amount of product as well you get what like 30 mil which is the standard amount it's just the shade range and shade range is so important to me but they have made an effort so that really counts a lot for me as well i feel like they should do better and you know we should be pushing for more so i'm going to push for more and i feel like they should you know add a bit more to the deeper darker side you know i definitely think it's for dry skin because you know i felt like really hydrated throughout the day but i feel like if you were more on the oilier side you might not like this foundation because i was definitely shiny throughout the day it probably doesn't look like it right now but yeah around this area was definitely shiny but the foundation really smooths out your skin and like it just looks effortlessly natural like i love it so much so I've really been into more natural products lately, I don't know why, but I really like this foundation, so big thumbs up from me. Guys, you were so right to recommend this foundation, like, oh my god. If you guys have any questions about the foundation, let me know in the comments below, I'll try my best to answer to everyone. And if there are any other products you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and let me know what you think of this foundation if you have tried it, I'm curious to know, because I, I really love it. But it's a bit sticky though. Keep that in mind, guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.